the facts tend to get really out of balance when you add your opinions and your feelings to them. So I'll just stick to the things that I've experienced rather than the things that I think about Augusta and Rosemont. I live on grazing ground that is the Elevation Ranch. Uh, I've seen four different ranch owners in the 19 years I've lived there. To hold a company responsible for their actions is, is something that is based entirely on the trust in the company's ability to take care of what it does. Uh, I mean, you can look at a man and see how well he's going to take care of you by looking at his dog, usually. Um, and if you look at the cattle, the fencing, and the way that the Helvetia Ranch has been maintained since its takeover by Augusta, the 76-year-old cowboy that's left in charge of his side of the farm um, um, is um, one of my best friends. He's totally disgusted with him. He, in his words exactly, they have got animal husbandry's address. If you look at the eastern side of the mountain where Rosemont has their cattle running, I was over there last Saturday morning and the first stock tank on the far to the east side of the Gunside Pass, 10 or 12 cattle running around, one of them belly up, stinking bad enough, full of vultures. Um, we've had to kill a mother lion and her two kittens, I'm sure, were the collateral damage of that, for coming to our side of the mountain and eating their cows because there aren't any deer left around there anymore. They've, in my judgment, in my 19 years, this is the first year they've managed to be chased out. Um, I'd like to think that Rosemont Augusta and the Asians and Canadians and whoever the hell it is that's moved into this place would keep their word, but it hasn't been my experience personally that they will. They plan on putting a monster water line right up my front drive. I mean, I wrote 505 High Up Forest Road is the road that they're planning on using as their alternate route. You can get a good Jeep up there. I don't know how the hell you get it. I've driven, oh boy, I've hauled heavy equipment. It would take massive work to get anything up there other than a Jeep. Like how can that be an alternate route to State 83, which is a bad route to start out with? It's been my experience with these people. I've been on a contract for over a year now to fix a cattle car, just wait for the cowboy to come from the other side. There's two cowboys, one young rodeo guy and an old 76-year-old man in charge of that whole damn ranch and the Helvetia ranch. They're both overworked beyond belief, and they can't take it. You know, if, they, if they're going to stock that, how are they going to do the rest of it? Thanks. Thank you.